Hi there, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Clemo, and we are back in Pokemon Scarlet for episode 27. So in the last episode, episode 26, we took on Operation Star, so the first Star Boss, and that was Mela, the Fire Star Boss, and we defeated her, and yeah, basically dethroned her, so she's no longer a boss of Team Star, which is great. And yeah, we met Clive, who I believe is Direct Clavel, because it basically looks like Direct Clavel, just with a wig on and some different outfit, but he wants to be known as Clive, so it's Clive. And Cassiopeia has given us some new materials and some new TMs that we can use as well, which is fantastic. So we are going to move into today's episode, which I believe we are going to take on another Titan and go for the second Titan on our list. Not sure which one we're going to go for. It possibly is going to be the one in the desert. So, it's either the one in the desert or something along those lines anyway. We're going to take on a steel one, I believe. So, that's going to be fun. And I hope you are going to enjoy that. So that will be today's episode. It is going to be a longer episode because we're going to be doing that as well. As we do a little bit of preparation up to that. So I hope you are in for the ride. But uh, before we get into this video any further, I do hope you do enjoy this video. And if you do, don't forget to like the video, share the video with your friends and family, and subscribe to my channel. But without further ado, let's get into this here. So, yep, yeah, we're going to head towards the next Titan. Because now that I've worked out, finally, that Titans help me gain a new abilities for Gridon, which are going to massively help me with exploration and all of that because then we can jump higher we can fly we can swim we can do all of those lovely things time for us to go ahead and head towards our next one so we just had a look at that terror raid we gained some lp and we've also healed our orb which is fabulous but it was a three star yeah we're not ready for three stars just yet so it looks like we're just going to go and have a look at a few of these Gain some more LP. This is only a one star. Do we go ahead and challenge it? I think we do. We're just going to change our Pokemon out because it's a electric type. So we just need something that's going to not be weak against it. So who are we going to go for? Looks like we're going to go for Bonsley. So we go ahead and challenge this Pokemon which is a Surskit in electric form so let's do it attack with what? A rock throw or a rock tomb? A rock tomb. Ooh, wrecked it. Nice. And then our teammates, the NPCs, have now wrecked it entirely. Oh, it looks like my controller is getting a low battery. That's helpful. I then practically ignore this, which isn't very clever. But yes, we go ahead and ignore it, because right now we are busy. We're taking on a Surskit. Well, we're just catching a Surskit that's electric form, which, great, we've now caught our Surskit in electric form. Fabulous. Nice and easy there. And we will then move on. Oh, 
and I'll carry on and we'll go and have a look at this other one. This is what Terror Raid this is. I think it might be a bug form. It is. It's only a two star. So I think we are going to potentially attempt to take this one on. But we will switch out to Crocolore probably. Yep. As we know, bug types are weak against fire types, so Crocolore is going to be our choice. And this is a Shinx we're going to be taking on, but a bug form Shinx. So that's rather interesting. So we'll go ahead and take this on. Because it's a Shinx, it has Intimidate, so it's going to drop our attack down slightly. But it shouldn't be too bad, because a Flamethrower should practically wreck its day, and it does. Right, so a tiny little smidgen of HP. Which, then my other guys should just go ahead and wreck it. I hope. Oh, no, there we go. Gone ahead, and it's now done. So now we can go ahead and catch the Shinx, and we will then have a bug terraform of the Shinx, which is fabulous. And I definitely do enjoy the music for these terror raids. Gets me bopping every time I listen to it. So there is Shinx now done, and that is a two-star raid that we've managed to do solo. So that is very good. Must say I'm very, very impressed in myself for for doing that. So that is fabulous. So we're now going to nickname potentially. No, we're not going to nickname because why would we do that? We never nickname our Pokémon, so why would we start now? And we're going to take on this trainer here as well. This is another student by the name of Mercedes. Which is a... Wouldn't expect a name like Mercedes to be connected to this character model, but... Okay. Just going to wreck that Relor's day. Now, Relor is also another Pokemon that we do need to walk with for a thousand steps before it will evolve. And there is also one other which is called a Bramblin, which we will eventually get hold of as well. So there are three total. So it's Pormo, which we spoke about in a previous episode. Relor, which is the one that she's just shown us, and Bramblin. So out of those three, I have done two of them so far. There will be just Relor. I believe now to do, which I don't actually have yet, so I need to go catch one. I know where they are, I've just got to go catch one, and then do the same thing all over again. So that'll happen eventually. But now we're just really trying to figure out how we're going to get to our this next Titan. And so we need to head into the desert. And so I'm still trying to figure out how to work the map. Because I'm still confused how to work the map. I mean, it's literally just right next to me over there. And, yeah. So we set, finally set the destination so we know exactly which direction we've got to head. But we've got to get over this river first. We've noticed there is a terraformed Pokemon over there. Maybe we want to get hold of it. Or find a way over to see if we can catch it. But now I'm just trying to figure out the best thing. But no, it looks like we're just going to ignore that Terraform Pokemon because we can't get over there. Because we can't jump over because we don't actually have the jumping power just yet to do that. 
So let's go ahead and head to the Lavencia Gym. Lavencia Gym? No, the Lavencia Pokemon Center. Or Pokestop. Whatever they're called. Now start heading up towards where we need to go. Finding more items along the way. And trying to climb up this. And failing miserably. Until we finally get up. And now we're close enough, Arvin is going to bring us. Yo, Clemo! So somewhere in the middle of the mines, as they're around here, we should find the lurking steel titan. Rumour has it that that thing staggeredly Staggeringly huge and real feisty, whatever. You'd think like a Pokemon like that would be easy to spot. Maybe it's super fast. If that's the case, riding the po type of Pokemon of yours may help catch up to it. So the fact that we have now got Dash is probably going to help us against this Pokemon as it keeps running away from us, probably. So yes, this is a Steel type Titan. So there it is, right there. There's that's what. As we were talking about earlier, that is Bramblin. So this is the Pokemon that we do need to walk a thousand steps with as well. So as we don't have one, we of course need to try and catch one. But I think I wreck this one. Yep, I wreck this one. So that was clever. But side up once to learn Fury Swipes, why not? Take on this trainer as well. Oh ho ho, you bought it. Okay. Yes. Oh ho 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 ho. Ernesto. Doesn't look like an Ernesto. But brings out an oink cologne. That we talked about in the other in another episode. But maybe it makes a clone called Oink, I don't know. But then it just got ahead and stole my berry, which was very rude of it. Slam, so let's get rid of Splash and learn Slam instead. Happy days. And Esto the student wants to send out another Oink clone. So he definitely likes his pigs, clearly. Well, I have been advised if I find a shiny one of this, I do need to trade it with my housemate because it's pink. And she wants one. So I did say if I do find a shiny Lechonk or Oink Cologne, then yes, I would eventually trade it with her. Or if I get a second one at least, I would then trade it with her. So that's kind of going to end up being the plan. But that's the second Oink Cologne done, and that is Ernesto defeated. And now, Azrael wants to learn what. Oh, Psyduck, sorry, wants to learn Water Pulse. So, goodbye, Tail Whip, and hello, Water Pulse. Thank you very much. There's another little brambling just sort of rolling in the wind. It's almost like a little dust ball that rolls in the wind. And there's a ghastly over there as well. That I think wants to try and wreck our day, but. Won't wreck our day, because. Never does. Well, maybe it does someday. Who knows? I doubt it ever. But yes, Gasly is now getting closer, and we're like, um, go away. No, we are not going to face you. We're going for that Bramblin that I saw that was running around, and now it's disappeared. 
but we have Curlia, so we can put things to sleep. We then notice a Roly Coly. We don't have one of those yet, so time to see if Curlia can put it to sleep, and then we can go ahead and grab ourselves a Roly Coly. So she managed to do it first time, which is great. Usually she misses on her first occasion, so I'm very happy that she's managed to do it on her first occasion. Now we use a Pokeball. And we caught Roly Coley. Fabulous. Welcome to the family. Welcome to Clabo's army. And there's another Roly Coley coming to attack us. Rather rude of it. Go away. Before I send out Quaxwell to go and wreck its day. And the rest of their days too. another Bramble in there, so it's time for us to switch out Quaxwell and get Curlier in the fold and give Hypnosis a go against this thing and see if we can catch it. But Bramble avoided the attack. Second time's the charm, and it worked. And this time we managed to catch Bramblin. So there we are, we have now have got two out of the three Pokemon that we need to walk a thousand steps for. So we can get this sorted. Well, get them evolved, should I say. So we do do that later down the line. But for now, that is another one added to the army. So welcome to Glebo's army. So I'm just figuring out which direction I'm going to go. But for now, I see more items and some other things to grab. So I've got to go ahead and do that. Found a timer ball. Very nice. And then we notice this elephant, which we don't have yet. So it looks like we've got to go and catch ourselves an elephant. A Qfant. So we're going to go take on a Qfant, and it is a steel type, but hopefully Hypnosis will do what we need it to do. But of course the Qfant will avoid the attack, as it always seems to do. And yes, our controller is reminding us that we have a low battery. Eventually I do charge my controller up. But for now, I just don't, because I'm a silly little donut. But that's Qfunt Court, so fabulous. Got another one now in the Pokedex, which is lovely. And do we want to give me a nickname? No, we do not. Back in your box. Thank you very much. Well, go into the box. Thank you very much. And then we take on this trainer as well.
So this is Ephron the Worker. Yep, Ephron the Worker. And he has a Pokemon that we don't have right now. Called Stone Journer. Stone Journer. Being stone, I'd say Stone Journer. Journer's day wrecked. And that's Ephraim the Worker's Pokemon all defeated. So, happy days. We are now one step closer to becoming that Pokemon Master. Now we're just going to slowly get ourselves out of this area. We'll bring Quaxwell anyway, just for good measure. See whether or not he can take on some of these other Pokemon. Mainly I wanted to try and take out that Dugtrio. But the Dugtrio kept digging. And then every time I went to attack, it would then disappear. Or Quaxwell just wouldn't attack it. And then it would move again. I'm like, for goodness sake, Quaxwell, can you just attack already? No, you're not going to attack it. How annoying. Can you please just attack that blooming Dugtrio? And then it just moves again, and then it goes, and it comes. Um, I just, I just give up. I'm like, right, shut up, screw you. I'm leaving. Carrying on my journey towards the Titan. We give it another go, and this time we get that dog trio. Happy days. Check it out. Didn't take us that long, did it? We just picked up a smooth rock. I believe helps with rock type moves. Let me take a wander through this little cave and attack a Salaman. Or Salamdit, sorry. Which we one hit it, so that's now gone. We do need a Salamdit, and in fact, we need to get a female one to evolve it, because only females evolve, similar to the combis where only the female evolves. So, I'm just now trying to see if I can get over this, which, unfortunately, I just keep failing and then get into a battle with this Larvitar. So, we go ahead and take this Larvitar out. Well, that's Lavatar's day done. So now we're going to move on. Let's see if we can find where this Steel Titan Pokemon is. As it is in one of these caves somewhere. And one of these caves will lead us out to where we then find it. So, take a look around a couple of the caves. This one's a dead end. So it's not that one. Try this one. Has an item in there. So I'll just send um, one out. Saves me having to fight it. Magikarp leveled up to 19. And then I also took out a Salander. Didn't even realise it was there. But Quaxwell did and did the job for me, so thank you very much. Yeah, we are, we are just literally trying to figure out where we're supposed to be going. But we then notice a room that we don't have. So it's time for us to go and catch said Pokemon. Or Varum, sorry. It's basically just a floating something car. Floating Hoover car thing? I don't know. 
Something like that. But, now it's asleep. We're going to throw a Pokemon at it. Hopefully we're going to catch it. Yes we are. Fabulous. Happy days. Another one in the Pokedex. Which evolves into Reverie. Which is like that big car thing that we fought. When we beat Mela. And... Yeah. New Pokemon added to the Pokedex. Happy days. Just picked up a damp rock as well. Very nice. And a Max Ether. Which will come in handy, I'm sure, at some point. And then there's Rolly Coley wants to try and wreck us. But I think we wreck it instead. Eventually. Couple of side beams and it is down. That is that sorted there. So, we will continue our journeys, see if we can locate where this star... Star? No, this Titan is. We then get Crocolaw back out, because I believe we have found the right cave now that we need to run through to find a ginormous worm that likes to run away from us. So we have to keep chasing it. Follow every way, which way it goes. Eventually, we then fight it. And here we go. So now it sees me, and it's like, "Ooh, hello! I am going to attack you!" Ha ha ha! Which we're like, no, 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 no. Orthworm? No. We are not going to get attacked by you. You're going to get attacked by us. Starts with an Iron Tail, which is not very effective. So we're going to use Incinerate. And wreck his day. Using Wrap on us. And we use Bite. Should just drop its HP enough. There we go. For it to then smack this wall, create a little cave, and then we're going to have to follow it through. So straight back on to our boy, Crydon, and off we go. And it will lead us to the Herbamistica. Behind that wall. Clever, you managed to pin down the Titan. That's the Lurking Steel Titan. It's, uh, well, it sure is long. I think our little friend might even be feist feistier now after eating those herbs. We're gonna need to do this together, Clevo. Are we now? Okay. I'm sure I could wreck him on my own, but okay. We'll do it together. For the sake of this story. So, whack a flamethrower on it. Doesn't matter how big of an opponent is, victory is going to taste so s good seasoned with whatever, yes, I'm sure. And a sandstorm is now kicked up. Toad's cool. Not very effective. Okay, Buffalo uses the wreckage of Flamethrower and just annihilates it with one shot. So nice and easy battle there. And that is the Titan Orphworm completed. Crocodile looking very happy about itself, which 
I would be happy to. So thank you very much for absolutely wrecking its day. And look at this, Magic Arb is evolving. Evolving into one of my favourite water type Pokemon. A Gyarados. And Gyarados Lamp Bite, thank you very much. We did it, Clevo. Way to go, but little buddy. Did you get a good look at its face, though? I didn't expect its item to be such a little cutie. Bet if we go in here, we'll find more of that hub mystical it ate before. Let's go find it before that thing can regroup. If we're lucky, there'll be another herb in here. Herb here, yes. Herb in here, or herb here. We really can't talk today. I knew it! I think my voice is starting to fail me. Oh no. It really is here. This is one of the herbs make... That too. I don't know. You and Arvin found the salty herb, Mystica. Ooh. It's rather salty, is it? Oh dear. Woohoo! We did it! Thanks, Clebo! Now then, let's see what does the book have to say. Well, apparently Salty Herb and Mystica helps with aching hands and feet. Good for neuropathy. And... Neuropathy and what? Good for neuropathy and numbness. When you've got the muscle weakness, it supposedly builds up strength again. If I can just slip this into a tasty sandwich and get him to eat some. Well, what are we waiting for, Clebo? It's time to dig in. Let me whip something up for us. Time for sandwich number two. Yard, hiya, hucha! Again, sounds like a ninja. Bob's your uncle. Is he? I don't have an uncle called Bob. Here you go, my special whimsical sandwich. And it comes with a side of Titan badge as a token of my gratitude, of course. I can steal Titan defeated. Woohoo! And here comes Coridon again. Now that we have a sandwich. Oh, come on, you again. Mmm, smells good, does it? Do you want to give your sandwich to Coridon? Yes, I do. Here you go. Hmm. Is it trying to say thanks or something? Well, good thing I made extra. You are helping me out a whole bunch with hard stuff, so it's only fair you get more. I definitely absolutely did not make an extra so that Coridon could have a sandwich, okay? And I'll just give it to him anyway. Yes, my battery is low, we know this. Coridon will now be able to jump higher. Woohoo, finally we'll be able to jump on those silly... Ledges that we just kept failing to jump onto. Man, these Herb Mystica really do pack a punch, don't they? I mean, they'd better, or else I'm really up the creek. Are you smelling more? Don't you dare touch that! This isn't for you! Oh, uh, sorry, I shouldn't have shouted like that. I guess I should at least tell you the full story, Clever. Coming out, bud. And who is this? This is Mabustif, my partner. I 
Oh dear, it looks rather poorly. Here you go, bud. Eat up. This sandwich should help you feel better. Slowly now. Take your time. Small bites are fine. Just chew nice and slow. My buddy here was hurt pretty bad a while ago. Real bad, in fact. He never really recovered. Potions and things won't do the work. Have you tried a Pokemon Center? They said this wasn't any regular old injury or illness. But Bastav here is the only thing in the world I care about. The only thing. So I promised that I'd make him better whatever it takes. I searched online, I read books, I looked all over and tried every cure and remedy I could find. But nothing really worked. I almost given up hope. And that's when I found about out about the Herba Mystica. A book, what is it? Well, you've done your research. I found it in my mom's lab. Herba Mystica. Ares era was a home for wondrous herbs that instantly impart vigor when eaten. When we dubbed them Herba Mystica and attempted to grow some in the areas of Powdea. However, before we could harvest, the herbs were eaten by Pokemon, which in turn grew large and strong. We call these Titan Pokemon. It's a book full of crazy stories and legends and things. Stuff nobody would usually believe. But I believe it, and I think it, what it says is true. And according to this book, eating all five Herba Mystica can cure anything that ails you. Case in point, my boss's paws were cold as ice before he ate the last herb, but they've warmed up a little now. I'm sure they have. Oh, you don't eat him, bud. It looks like his eyes have now opened. Hey, Mabastiv, can can you see? Are your eyes open? Yes, I did it! It's been so long since he was able to open his eyes. I was so worried. Oh man, I'm so... I'm so glad. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at him. Those fiery orange little eyes. Hard to even tell if they're open or not, but I know the difference. The power of these herbs is amazing. I knew the book wasn't lying. I'm gonna bring Mabustive back to full health. I swear it. Oh, uh, yeah. So that's my story. Three herbs to go. Let's fight them together. Sure. So that is the reason why he is now collecting these Herba Mystica, because he wants to heal his Mabostiff, which for some reason is hurt, but isn't hurt in the normal way. Something else ails him. Rotototototo. Hello, Clebo. This is Sada. I detect that Coridon has regained more of its original power. While you're riding upon it, it can now jump higher if you press and hold B button. Press and hold the B button for Coridon will now jump higher than before. If you do a quick press, it'll do the short jump. I'm relying on you to continue taking good care of Coridon. And that is our second Titan down. And so now we have a bigger jump, as you've just seen there. Which means we can now jump way higher and way better than we did before. So fantastic. But I think we will be wrapping this up very shortly here. Now that we have completed the second Titan. So I think the next step for us is to potentially just find a couple to fly to. No, maybe not. We were going to fly to Lavincia. No, we're not going to fly to Lavincia. Or are we? Yes, we are. Maybe we're not. Yes, we are. Maybe we're not. Yes, we are. We're going to fly back, head to the Pokemon Center, and then wrap this episode down. So I do hope you have enjoyed this episode. Now that we have taken on two Titans, we're starting to really blast through the storyline. So, hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to like the video, share the video, and subscribe. And I do hope you have a lovely day, and I will see you in the next one.